Hey guys, what's up? It's Rygar the Destroyer, and today we're going to be taking a look at the First Order Jet Trooper from the Star Wars 6-inch Black Series. Now this guy is really cool, but before we take a closer look at him, let's go ahead and take a look at his packaging. So here it is, um, when it focuses. Come on. There we go. Uh, pretty standard for what we've seen. Nice big window here on the front, as well as a nice image of the character down here on the bottom. Flipping it over onto the back, you can see that same image is repeated, as well as a brief description. And of course, if you'd like to read that, you can go ahead and just pause the video. So anyway, like I said, pretty standard stuff, so let's go ahead and get back to the figure itself. Now the Jet Trooper stands at... Right at six inches tall, so he's right in scale with all of your other Black Series figures, and he does come with one accessory, and that is his blaster here. Now, this is one that I haven't had before, so it's new to me. Looks really cool. Uh, I like the paintwork. Um, definitely like the fact that they've used three different colors on here, the white, black, and silver. Looks really nice. Uh, the only thing that I have to say that I don't like is that it doesn't have a weapons peg on it, which means that you can't plug it into this little hole that he's got on the side of his uh, hip here. Uh, not a deal breaker though, obviously you could use this to uh, pose him with uh, accessories from other figures, which I do think is cool. So uh, as far as the figure itself goes, uh, this is one that when I saw it initially, I wasn't super excited about because um, I thought it was basically going to be a flame trooper again, but uh, I'm really pleasantly surprised after having it in hand. Uh, they've done a really nice job with this figure. Um, they've kind of changed up a lot of the articulation on here, and it works really well. So let's go ahead and run through it here. He's got a double ball peg in the head, which gives a nice range of motion, as well as a single ball peg at the base of the neck. So he's got a ton of range of motion, and at the end of the day, it looks really natural um, after it's been posed. Um, just because of the extra little layer of articulation, it really does help that. Uh, he has ball hinge shoulders that do swivel 360. He's got hinged elbows with a swivel, and they do get 90 degrees, which is better than the original Flame Trooper had. Um, so I don't know if this has the same arms, I haven't checked, uh, but they've definitely been retooled uh, or they're completely different. He's got a what feels like a, a double or single ball peg here in the torso. Excellent range of motion there. Even with this piece of armor that hangs down over it, um, it's made of a softer material, so it's not going to get in the way. And then uh, gives you a lot of posing options there. At the hips, he's got T-joints. Again, excellent range of motion. Uh, pretty much every direction, or at least as much as you'd need. And then he's got a thigh swivel, which is nicely tucked in here. Double jointed knees. Pretty good range of motion there. And then hinged ankles with an ankle rocker. So uh, really, really nicely done. Uh, hopefully this will be how they, you know, kind of handle the troopers from here on out. Uh, I definitely like this articulation style. And overall, I think the design of this figure uh, looks really cool and is definitely a lot of fun to pose. So if you have any comments or questions, please leave them down in the comment section below. And I guess I'll see you later.